What up, guys? This is Chivo Guides, back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Dark Burial Enhanced Edition. This game is published by Desert Water Games, and it was developed by Shark Games. This game is a really easy 1000 gamer score. You can get it done as quick as about 6 minutes, however I think the average person will probably take about 10 minutes. On top of it being a really easy completion, the game is only $4.99 and it even has a Windows 10 stack, meaning you get double the gamer score if you purchase the Windows 10 version as well. If you haven't picked up either of these versions yet, I'll have links down in the description below as always. Now, keep in mind, this publisher does support achievement updates, so more than likely, this game will get updated with some additional gamer score. If it ends up getting a gamer score update, I'll make sure to upload some additional guides for you guys. Aside from that, let's just go ahead and dive right into it. We basically need to play up until the first boss battle, which is the witch. She throws some spiders at you, and your final achievement is going to be for killing one of these spiders. Main thing you want to know is, eventually you're going to get to this level where you're going to see the skeleton that shoots an arrow at you. You need to let him kill you for an achievement, and then second, you need to drop a crate over him, and that's going to unlock two achievements. One for killing the skeleton with the crate, and then one for killing the skeleton. That one is technically missable, so that's why I want to mention it to you guys. You guys need to make sure that you drop the crate on the skeleton that shoots the arrow. Also, we have another achievement related to dying in a specific way. We need to die by spikes. So as soon as you see some spikes, you could jump into them and you'll end up unlocking an achievement for dying by spikes. Aside from that, all of the other achievements should unlock naturally while playing up until the first boss. Again, you don't need to beat the first boss, you just need to get to the first boss because she shoots spiders at you and you need to kill one of those spiders for your last achievement. In terms of gameplay, it's basically a puzzle platformer, so if you're having any issues solving any of these puzzles or proceeding through the level, feel free to follow along with my video. I'll get some timestamps or chapters down in the description below for you guys, just in case you want to skip ahead to any specific level you're having trouble with. Aside from that, I'm going to go ahead and end the commentary right here as no more commentary is needed. But as always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright guys, I wanted to chime back in just real quick, just because we have two missable achievements right here. You need to let the archer shoot you and kill you, you'll get an achievement for dying by the archer. And the second missable achievement on this level is for killing the archer with the crate. So make sure that you push the box over the ledge, and you're going to unlock the box smasher achievement worth 100 G. After that, you can go ahead and complete the level. Again, we're just playing up until the first boss battle, which is the witch.
Alright guys, so we have our last achievement right here at the boss battle. Just a reminder, you do not need to defeat the witch. A matter of fact, I would not do it just in case we have an achievement for killing her in the next update. Our last achievement here in the base 1000G is for killing a spider. She spawns and throws these spiders at you and all you have to do is kill one of them. After you kill your first spider, you'll unlock your final achievement in the base 1000G, giving you the full 1000G out of the full 1000G. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 10 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including Tim G84, Kegger101, Kana25, and Rockmono44. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.